Okay, now let us talk about some comments that is reported in the media that U.S. President Joe Biden made, right? Now, it is reported in the media on the 25th of March, 2022, that Joe Biden made these comments. There's going to be a new world order out there, and we've got to lead it, right? Now, people, you need to understand that this new world order that world leaders are promoting is a satanic one, right? It is very supernatural. You're about to witness the days of Noah. You're about to witness what was going on in the days of Noah. HD quality. Yeah, that's what's coming up. No, not only Joe Biden made comments regarding the new world order, but on the 24th of March, it is reported in the media that Barbadian Prime Minister also made some comments. And this is what she says. She wants to see the dismantling of the old global order and replace with a new order that promotes world peace, right? And this is a woman that was in such a rush to get rid of the British Queen as the head of state because she understands the assignment and she needs to remove the British Queen in order for a new head of state to come on in, right? And I've explained that in um, other videos. But understand that the new world order that they are talking about is a satanic one. It is an antichrist. It will be a time when demonic entities will be walking down the street. Right? That is what it's all about. And a lot of you have not gotten your heads around what is about to happen. This is a spiritual war. And things are set to come on this earth that men hearts will fail them right now due to the position that some of us are in due to our religion we cannot seem to understand the dangers that lies ahead now this new world order is not a hundred years away it's not 10 years away it is just right around the corner and you need to understand what is happening they are looking to strip you of your humanity right that's what they are looking to do. And a big part of that is that they have to lower the earth's population. Why? Because these entities, no matter how powerful they are, they cannot be in two places at the same time. They do not have that much power. Right? Only two entities can be in two places, multiple places at the same time. And that is the one that is the most high. The one that you call Jesus, some say Yeshua, some say Yahushua, the land from the tribe of Judah. They are the only two entities that possess that power. They can be in multiple countries, multiple dimensions, exerting power at the same time. No other entities wield that power. So therefore, they've got to get rid of a whole lot of you right understand that they are chiseling away at humanity bit by bit removing your rights because that is how these entities operate and when you've had experience with them you will see it in this um, new world that they are bringing in because entities do not accept your freedom they do not accept what you've got to say if you say no it doesn't really matter to them they are going to carry on anyway so it doesn't matter if you say no to various world leaders, they're going to bring in the policies anyway because that is how demonic entities operate, right? No means nothing to them. They believe that they should humiliate you, strip you of your humanity and just use you to do whatever they feel like and you have no say in it. And believe you me, I've got a lot of experience with these entities. So I know just what is to come. So many of you who are lukewarm, sitting on the fence, understand you cannot sit on the fence for very long. You will have to make a choice, right? Because they are making moves to destroy this world, right? To bring on their new world order. But what they cannot control is the outcome, right? They do not know how much people will die 
after they drop their various bombs. They do not know how much people will die after they release their various diseases. And there's quite a lot of diseases that they are busy um, looking to release on this earth. Right? It is going to be a nightmare that a whole lot of you will be checking on into the metaverse because you cannot deal with the reality of what is outside. Right? The chimeras that we're walking down the road. Right? The human hybrids. You cannot deal with it. Right? You got your children. You got to hide your children. Because if someone sees your child and they decide that they want to use your child for gross sexual debauchery, you've got no choice. You've got to hand over your child. And if they want to do the same to you, they will. You will have no rights. Right? And someone once said this statement, you will own nothing, but you will be happy. Right? And we see the last two years, a lot of you surrender your bodies. A lot of you surrender your humanity. If you do not take this thing, you don't have a job. If you do not take this, you cannot travel. That is the new world order. Right? It is taking away your rights, your right to be a parent, your right of choice. That is what is going to happen along with these demonic entities. No, these demonic entities need people. They need various individuals to help bring in their new order because when they are released, they will not have enough time. Right? So they depend on these world leaders, these bankers, and these elite families to bring in their new world order. Right? And a lot of people out there that is following these entities and taking instructions from them. You need to understand if they if they betray their own, they will do the same to you. If these fallen angels betray their own, they will betray you, the human. You do not have enough powers to subdue them. You do not have enough power to control or run or protect yourself. So once you get into deal with them, you are doomed. Right? They are not loyal. They are not loyal to their own and they won't be loyal to you. Their lives are not their own. They are refugees. Sorry. Fugitives. They are running. Right? They are fugitives running. Their lives are not their own. So when you decide to take instructions, instructions from them, right, to protect your own life, understand what you are getting involved in, right? You are making yourself an enemy to even more powerful entities. It's full time you people wake up and understand you've got to choose a side. Sitting on the fence and thinking that the rapture is going to come and get you. Right? And thinking that your religion is going to protect you. It's not going to happen. Because if the elect will be on earth, why do you think that the most is going to rapture you away and leave the elect on the earth? It makes no sense. Right? You need to have a plan. You need to seek the most high while he can be found. And understand, this spiritual war will be spilling on over into our reality sooner than you think. Life is about to get supernatural within the blink of an eye. This is not 10 years away, right? We need to pray. We need to ask for guidance. As I say, glory be to the most high.